Dear students, now we are going to discuss measurement of unknown load impedance of the transmission line. Let's consider the transmission line with unknown load impedance ZR. Vs is the sending end voltage, ZS is the sending end impedance or input impedance. Okay. Here we can consider the dissipation less line that means zero dissipation line for that the characteristics impedance is purely resistive. Okay. The unknown load impedance ZR can be measured using the following methods. Standing wave measurement method on the open wire or slotted line method. The next one is bridge circuit method. So now we are going to derive the expression for this unknown load impedance using standing wave method. Okay. So for that we can consider the general equation of input impedance at any point on the zero dissipation line. Okay. We have already derived the input impedance for the dissipation less line in the previous lecture video. We can use it here. So ZS is equal to R0 into ZR plus J R0 tan beta x divided by R0 plus J ZR tan beta x. So this is the general equation of input impedance for the zero dissipation line. Okay. So here at the receiving end, we can consider the voltage minimum point at a distance x does. Okay. So at the point of voltage minimum at a distance x does from the load, the input impedance can be given as ZS is equal to R minimum. Whenever the voltage value is minimum, its resistance is also minimum because V is directly proportional to resistance. Right. So we can say at the point of minimum voltage, the resistance is also minimum. The input impedance is given as ZS is equal to minimum resistance R min that is equal to R0 by S. So now we can equate this R0 by S with this value ZS. Okay. In the next step we can equate the ZS value as R0 into ZR plus J R0 tan beta X dash. X dash means for the voltage minimum value divided by R0 plus J Z R tan beta X dash that is equal to R min value. What is R min value? R0 by S. Yes. Okay, we can cancel this R0 value both the sides. We can get the value as Z R plus J R0 tan beta X dash by R0 plus J Z R tan beta X dash is equal to 1 by S. Yes. Next we can cross multiply these two values. S into ZR plus J R0 tan beta X dash is equal to this value goes to this numerator R0 plus J ZR tan beta X dash. Okay. Then multiply this S inside this bracket we can get S into ZR plus J S R0 tan beta X dash is equal to R0 plus J ZR tan beta X dash. In the next step we can move all the ZR terms in one side. So here S Z R is that this term is moving towards this side with a minus sign. So S Z R minus this term is J Z R tan beta X does this R naught term is moving towards the other side. So here it is R naught this plus becomes minus here. So minus J S R naught into tan beta X does. Now we can take Z R as a common term in this side. So ZR into S minus J tan beta X dash is equal to R0 is the common one in this right hand side. So R0 into 1 minus J S tan beta X dash. We have to find out the value of this ZR. So we can move this term to this side as a denominator. Finally we can get the receiving end impedance ZR is equal to R0 into 1 minus J S tan beta X dash divided by S yes, minus J tan beta X dash. So this is the formula which is used to measure the unknown load impedance value in the transmission line using standing wave method. Do you all understand? So this is very very important one. So this formula is used to measure unknown value of the load impedance.